Hi there, it's Dallas Travers, and I am so glad you're tuning in because this is the first of four episodes in a special series I'm calling All In, and we're just really going to explore what it means and what it looks like when you truly give yourself permission to go all in on your coaching business. So before we dive into that, hello again, I'm Dallas Travers. You're listening to the Six Figure Coach Podcast. This show is dedicated to helping purpose-driven coaches create a business you're truly proud of on your own terms without compromising your lifestyle, your values, or your time. And again, I'm just really glad that you're listening. So welcome to episode one of our special All In series. I put this series together because we are leading up to what is truly designed to be an exquisite and unique event called Permission Granted. It's a half-day workshop for coaches who want to build a prosperous business and make a difference in the world without burning yourself out or worrying about money or compromising who you are. Inside of Permission Granted, we will meet on Zoom for three hours together, working hand-in-hand to teach you my proven and totally reliable three-phase system, again, to build this business that you really want, but also, and more importantly, to know inside of yourself without a doubt that you are playing a big enough game because so many of us, we hold ourselves back in big ways, right? But also in these small, leaky ways, and it's painful. In fact, it's way more painful than the risks that we face of doing the scary things, right? The scary things like raising our rates or doing a Facebook Live or asking for referrals, Presenting offers, selling in any way, shape, or form, leaning in during sales calls, the scary things of letting go of your day job, right? That thing that eats up all of your time and energy because your business needs more of you. And I just want to say that it's my mission to create a container inside of the Permission Granted event where you can show up experience a true transformation and give yourself permission to go all in because what happens when we do that is spark. That's one of my core values, right? And I think it's why most of us are coaches. We cannot get enough of how special it is when someone li- someone's life changes because they worked really hard towards something or gave themselves permission or let go of the past. That's why we do the work that we do. And I want to create a container for you to experience Spark for yourself instead of reserving it for the work you do with clients, right? And never having a container to do that for yourself because you're just busy doing all of the things. Okay, so over the next four episodes, I'm going to teach some mini classes to help you get prepared for Permission Granted, which I will host three times during the week of September 22nd. You can grab your seat at Permission Granted now by visiting permissiongrantedworkshop.com. It's a long one. (laughs) Permissiongrantedworkshop.com. And I just want to warn you, this is not yet another, giant air quotes here, free masterclass. All right? This is not a lead magnet PDF download. This is not a peek inside of a a more complete system. Completer is not a word. This is a half-day intensive, okay, a workshop where we are going to roll up our sleeves and do the real work to help you let go of the stuff that didn't work in the past. All of those courses, all of that lost time, they have served their purpose, okay, to help you replace quick fixes with a repeatable process, habits, so that you stop scrambling every single month to help you get out of the performance pressure cooker, right, and consciously choose the right actions for your unique business and to help you make brave decisions and put yourself out there consistently because you trust yourself. And then lastly, just to stop seeking permission outside of yourself and grant it to you. 
Plus, this is going to be the only place where you'll get to apply to join The Hive, which is my 12-month mentorship program. We're putting together cohorts now, so we'll open doors for 35 coaches, and I will announce that inside of permission granted. So this is an event not to be missed. Whether you're interested in The Hive or not, you're going to get so much value from coming together and creating Spark for you. So tickets for this event are free if you are a Hive member and only $47 if you haven't joined us yet. And again, you can grab your spot at permissiongrantedworkshop.com. Okay, so with that, today I want to talk about what happens when you give yourself permission to go all in. We've all been there right? Moments where we feel stuck or stagnant. There's no real flow. Everything we work on in the business just feels like it takes longer. It's like we're walking through a swamp, right? And that extra heaviness, that extra effort, it often leads to the search for quick fixes. I talk often about busy Betty syndrome, right? Where the question you ask yourself every day is, what more should I do? And we're all busy being busy, skipping the foundational work. A lot of courses or other programs out there, they teach a specific method that worked for the mentor, the teacher, the influencer, right? But they don't give you the full picture. And they often skip this essential foundational work. And this is the thing that keeps us stuck. This is the thing that leads to two syndromes. One is Busy Betty syndrome, asking what more should I do and fooling yourself into thinking that the harder you work, the more control you have, right? The faster you move, the faster you'll see results, believing that there's just one thing outside of you that you haven't found yet, and that's the missing thing. Or month-to-month Monica syndrome, where you're so overwhelmed by the pressure to perform or the pressure to pay your bills that you make decisions based on fear, which might solve an immediate problem, but it doesn't cure the disease that keeps you stuck in that problem on repeat every single month. The thing that we often miss is just inhaling, right? Giving ourselves permission to do the scary things. We'll be really busy doing the less scary things, right, as a way to avoid the scary stuff. So what is the solution to this murky, muddy, stuck feeling? It starts with just admitting to yourself that you want what you want, no matter what that is. I'm reminded of a podcast episode with Kirsten we did a month or so ago where she admitted that she's actually not interested in having a six-figure business. And here she is inside of our program, formerly known as the Six Figure Coach Club, right? And it took a lot for her to come to terms and accept that my goal for her wasn't her goal for her, but we need that first, Okay, so admitting to yourself that you want what it is you want. A club member, it's going to be hard to get used to that, a Hive member who I'll call Tyson. This was about a year and a half ago. Tyson is a hard worker. He's very talented. He cares a lot about his audience. And he was stuck in being busy, right? Month-to-month Monica syndrome for sure. And he had shared with me at the beginning of the year that his goal for that year was to pass the six-figure mark in his business. And we all have different reasons for the goals that we have. And those of us who have financial goals, often that financial milestone is a very clear and tangible representation of all of the layers of the thing that we're seeking. So for Tyson, he wanted the six-figure business, and yet we're halfway into the year, and he was stuck in the same patterns, looking outside of himself, not not having patience to lay the foundation, and just, I honestly, not believing that this goal was possible for himself. So I had to ask the hard question, which was, do you really want this? Because I don't think you do. 
And it was as though I was just holding a mirror up to his face. And he, being the incredible person that he is, he took that in and really heard it and got quiet, right? Really thinking for a couple of weeks about what is it I want. And then giving himself permission to claim that goal, even when he didn't believe it was possible. So I think we often confuse, and there's advice around this, right? That you have to believe in your goals or you're not going to take action. And I personally think that's too much pressure. What if you didn't have to believe in your goals 110% or even 100%? What if you could just be willing to find out if they're possible? What if you just need it to be 51% uh, believing of your goals? We're going to talk about perfectionism in an upcoming episode, right? Giving yourself permission to be imperfect. But for today, I want you to just think about the last time you gave yourself permission to be honest about your goals and admit that you want what you want, no matter what that is. That's where change comes. That's the first step in playing a bigger game, is admitting you want what you want. I can remember last year, I was a part of a mastermind program where the program was designed to help course creators Turn, create an evergreen funnel. And I've talked about it on the show before. And it was interesting because this, this was like the high level of her program. And there were, I think, seven or eight of us who were a part of it. And everybody had their eyes on being a seven-figure CEO. And so a lot of what we learned was like, when you are a seven-figure CEO, you are hands offish. <laughs> you have CEO time where you just think about, about your business for, a, for, for days, right? You go on long walks and you think and you ponder and you create space and you have these policies and, you know, it's all about hiring other coaches to do the work for you. And it was very much for me not aligned. I love being in my business and I'm a great CEO. I'm a great leader. I love my team, but I don't want to not coach my members. I don't want to have a program so big that I don't know who's inside. I don't want to sell on autopilot. I actually want to be involved in the process. That's why I call The Hive, it's a mentorship program because we work together. And it took me a while. I would say probably too long, right? But that was my process. Easily eight months inside of this program, feeling like I was the bad student, wondering what I needed to change inside of myself to improve my mindset and become this seven-figure CEO until I realized, hold on, it's okay if I don't want that. And the money, you know, money is great. I talk about that too, right? Like we all deserve all the money because we're going to do great things with our money and help a lot of people. But seven figures, to have the seven figures and not be involved in the true transformation with my clients, no thank you. So I had to admit what I really wanted when it came to how I wanted to experience my business. How do I want to show up inside of it? How do I want to feel every day? What does that look like? And there's nothing wrong with me if I actually like coaching, if I actually like ha being on calls, if I actually like being inside of our Facebook group instead of delegating that out. That's me aligning with my values and giving myself permission to paint my own picture of what it looks like and what I want it to feel like to be this seven-figure CEO. So there's a difference then, right, between concrete goals and buying into concepts. So what Tyson had done was just bought into this concept right, of having a six-figure business, and he put a title on it and assumed that because that dollar amount was really clear, the vision would naturally be clear, and it wasn't. For me, 
I was being presented with a really clear vision that was taught as the way to do it, and it wasn't my way to do it. So there's a difference between claiming your own goals, admitting that you want what you want, and adopting concepts. And when you admit that you want what you want, right, the next step is to make that vision so concrete. And you're a coach, right? I'm preaching to the choir here about getting clear on your goals, right? But I just want to underscore how important it is for us. And as business owners, we get stuck in the day-to-day operations of our business, chasing the tasks that the goals become less and less clear. And when you're not clear on your goals, it's really hard to experience spark. Spark, I mentioned it earlier, it's one of my core values and It's my word for that moment of transformation, right? When you run through the finish line and look back and think, I can't believe I just did that. And now suddenly the way you see yourself changes for for good. And we love those moments as coaches. But when was the last time you truly sat down to honestly claim with specificity the precise picture of your ideal business? When did you then take that picture and identify the steps required to get there without judging yourself or falling into overwhelm or going onto the internet (laughs) to research and download and sign up for all of these freebies, but really let that come from within? And then when did you form a tangible and measurable action plan to cultivate the self-trust and the beliefs required to take those actions consistently. This is a step that most programs miss, and this is what we're going to lean into inside of Permission Granted. Because we can build an action plan, but what about the inner stuff? What about the sustainable stuff that keeps us in our process? Because the road to a prosperous coaching business is winding. Like I said, we're going to kick off permission granted with this essential first step, helping you discover the missing link, right? I don't want to skip this step. And I would love to just create a container where you come and you do this work instead of it living on your list and making its way to the bottom of that list and never really getting around to this essential precious time. Okay. So here's what I want you to do next. First of all, oh, it would be so fantastic to have you inside of our half-day workshop, Permission Granted. So go and grab your spot. This commitment to show up for yourself and your business without distractions, again, without combing the internet, grabbing every freebie you can in order to try to put a plan together for yourself and skip the foundations. Let's just quiet the noise together first so that you can give yourself permission to do this the right way and admit that you want what you want. So I actually asked some of our Hive members what would happen if they gave themselves permission, and maybe you can relate to some of their answers. (laughs) The first one might be my favorite. I'm I'm not paraphrasing. This is exactly what she said. She said, I'd buy a dope-ass house. I'd start a family now instead of waiting any longer. I'd completely change my niche and start over. I'd create Instagram reels without just feeling like a big nerd. I'd give myself a raise instead of always just investing money back into the business. I'd let go of all the programs that I didn't complete or that didn't work for me in the past and just move forward with a clean slate. I'd just like myself more. So before I sign off today, I'm going to ask you the same question. What will happen when you give yourself permission to go all in? I cannot wait to find out. So please DM me on Instagram. Let me know. I'm at Dallas Travers Biz Mentor. Then be sure to reserve your spot inside Permission Granted so that you can carve out this really special time to do the essential work and set yourself up to blow your own mind next year. So I've got some surprises in store for you at the event, and I really look forward to spending the day with you. Until then, I will see you back here next week. We're going to take things further. 
We're going to talk about going all in and giving yourself permission to be imperfect. We're also going to talk about permission to change course. And this one might surprise you, but permission to go slow and what that really means and why this myth, right, of hustling, right, causes us to stay really stuck. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm really excited for this special all-in series, and I have my fingers crossed to see you inside of Permission Granted, which is happening the third week of September. I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.